How do you like Villador so far? White just standing there. Happy. Oh, what is happiness if not a disease of fools? Uh, you lost me on that one. Wait, you seem like a man of power. Do you wish to possess the world's most powerful weapon? The world's most powerful weapon? <laughs> okay, what is it? You will see with your own eyes. I will give you its location, and in return, you will give me all your money. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, what is money compared to such a priceless thing? It buys me food and drink, keeps me from starving. I can go on. Fine. Two hundred and a money-back guarantee. And if you do not value the weapon as I have, I shall return your money. <laughs> will you accept my challenge? Okay, I'm in. Look for chests hidden on the old overpass overlooking East Horseshoe and the roof of the office building close by. The last one you open will contain the world's most powerful weapon. Search and you shall find it. Shit, this won't be easy. the Outlands. Any other cities still standing? Sometimes I wake up at night. My joints yeah. hurt. Means it'll probably rain again. You exhaust yourself working your whole life, and then you get cancer or suffer Get in here! Die. So? Finally! A fine selection. Yeah! Do come again! Ah, did someone get up on the wrong side of the bed? Yeah. 
What's going on? I'm playing princess in the tower, can't you see? What do you think's going on here? I'm trapped in my apartment. By my brother, no less. Luckily, I was able to get out to the balcony. You wanna play prince and help me out? Yeah, sure, why not? Sounds like fun. No, wait. My wonderful Timor will set me free. He just needs to know that my brother has locked me in here and won't let me go. Can you let him know I need to be rescued? And where can I find this wonderful Timor? Well, tonight, Timor, my brother Loen and a group of survivors are supposed to clear out the, uh, the infected from the condo building north of here, on Richmond Crescent. It'll be our new home, and it will be one day. I tried to reach Timor on his radio, but can't. Please tell him to contact me. He loves me, you know? He'll free me, and we'll be together, despite my brother's disapproval. Very well. Wait here till night falls. Are you here for the Sparker card? What are you looking for on Sparker? What do you mean? Well, you know, some people are only here for one reason. Yeah, right now my head is in a totally different place and I... I'm not looking for love. Good. Cause... neither am I. Oh, so, um... Can I buy you a drink? Uh, well, listen. Would you mind watching my son sometimes? His name's Jacob. Wait, what? Wouldn't you like to spend some time with him? Thirteen-year-olds aren't that bad. It's the best age, actually. But it, you could show him some parkour tricks, some combat. You know, Jake could use a father figure. Wait, hold up. You're on Sparker, because you're looking for a babysitter? He's not a baby. Haven't you been listening? Anyway, I told you I got this job on a farm. So what would you say to a bag of potatoes per hour? 
Now, I'm sure you've got a great kid, and hell, I'd even like to help you, but there's just too much going on with me right now, okay? Sure, Aiden, I get it. Good luck with all that. you got holes in your shoes doesn't mean you're poor. <laughs> you've got no one to lean on. That's when you know you hit rock bottom. Oh, <laughs> 
Watch yourself, you hear? Sweet weapon you got there, Aiden. Is it new? Fuck me. People will always complain. We're alive, and that's what counts. Apparently not here.
Sakurai never gave us that water. A stranger decides to give us something we need, and that's a negative to you? <laughs> hey, I'm that pilgrim. What's wrong? It was you? <laughs> Great. We got our ration today, but Maria here wants to use it all to wash her hair. Because I can't stand another fucking day like this. Just because you don't mind hair like a sheep overdue for shearing, doesn't mean... All I want is to water the plants, Maria. What good will your shiny hair be if you starve to death? It's gonna rain tonight. I'm sure of it. You'll use up the water, and then it'll rain. Those plants don't need that much water anyway. It's your way of showing me you don't care about my needs. Well, what if it doesn't rain? It will. I'm sure of it. How? When did you become the local weather girl? I can feel it in my bones. I guess we need to keep our emotions in check to make rational decisions. What's that supposed to mean? You're the one who started talking about feeling the rain in your bones. And it's obvious you would be happy living in a pigsty. Okay, ladies, I'll leave you to it. next spring. Uh, come on. I'm so sick of it all. I just want to take the boy and go to the PKs. Think about it. Why are you so proud? At least you'd have a future with them. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Forget I said that. And where's this weapon? That nut job has some splaining to do.
tired that I forgot to feed the hens yesterday. And nothing, I hope. You say, what's a con job but a shiny stone to a simpleton? I'll knock it out of your... Whence comes such anger? Wait, whence? I climbed like an idiot to the top of the viaduct for nothing. Don't you see? You've gained the most powerful weapon after all. It's perseverance. <laughs> what? The most powerful weapon in the world is perseverance, which you displayed when you climbed to the very top. And I paid you for that? Give me my money back. Perseverance will overcome the greatest difficulties, and lack of it will destroy you, as it has destroyed our world. Win the war faster, research the virus faster and sloppier. So what will it be? Would you sacrifice your perseverance just to get your money back? There was nothing there. Give me back my money. What is... My fist in your face, but the broken nose of a cheat. Right. I see. Here, here's your money. You have much to learn. I'm no PK fan, but whoever carved the skin off their commander was a certified psycho. Aiden, you've been around a while. You're practically one of us now. I keep telling everyone we should be getting ready for winter. Yeah. <sighs> 
Thanks. My name's Wash. Aiden. How noble of you, saving an enemy. But you're not my enemy. But now we're on, what's the phrase, opposite sides of the barricades? We're on the same side when the infected are involved. What are you doing here? I'm afraid that's top secret. So you're a spy. Should I warn the locals about you? All right, I'll tell you. It's a secret, just not a military secret. I was supposed to meet a girl here, from the bazaar. Don't see anyone here. Looks like she stood you up. This wasn't a date. We wanted to leave the city, get beyond the walls. Yeah, it's not that easy. We would find a way. Why do you want to leave? Chloe's had enough of there being shortages of everything at the bazaar, especially water. But the bazaar has water now. Chloe doesn't know that yet. She lives outside the bazaar. Then just go to her and check. I will. And can I ask you a favor, to save time? I'll go to Chloe's place. Can you go to her friend Liz's? Chloe's always over there. She lives at 25 Wuthering Mews, third floor, above the old vegetarian restaurant. It's near the clinic. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Let me know over the radio when you get there.
Inside. Looking for Chloe. What for? She's not here. Wash. Chloe's not here. She's not at home either. Aiden, she must be at Liz's. I don't know where else she could be. So you're going somewhere? None of your business. Chloe's gone. Like, gone, gone. Got it? Tell Wash to just forget about her. Chloe's left without him. Left? Or about to leave with you, I gather. Maybe. But why leave? There's water again. Yesterday they were fighting over water. Tomorrow it'll be another thing. Blood's always flowing here. We've had enough. We want to try somewhere else. We, that is, you and Chloe. So what about Wash? Wash? He was just our ticket out, that's all. Now he can fuck off. There was nothing I could do, Chloe. Wash? Chloe. Wait, so that's Chloe? I'm a grunt. No one told me what was gonna happen. Please, don't leave without me. Let me go with you, the three of us. Liz won't agree. So convince her. Aiden, come on, say something, please. You've been outside, you know how things are beyond the walls. He won't make it outside the city anyway. Two, three people, doesn't matter. You don't know what you're walking into. We could stay here, Chloe. You've got water now, right? So the fuck what? I want to leave. So how will you get past the PK? We'll think of something. And how will you survive without UV lamps? You're right. This whole plan was stupid from the start. So you're saying you'll stay? I'll stay. But I don't want to see you anymore. What? You were a means to an end, Wash. If we're staying, well, the end. But, Chloe, it wasn't supposed to go down this way. Sorry. Damn you, Aiden. Thanks for the advice. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't wish him ill, really. I'd like to be alone now. Got a lot to process. I don't wish him ill, really. I'd like to be alone now. Got a lot to process. I don't wish him ill, really. I'd like to be alone now. Got a lot to process. I'd like to be alone now. Got a lot to process. I'd like to be alone now. What, what did I do to you? Let me go, please.
time Sophie grew into the woman her mother that was. A biomarker from St. Joseph's? Let me see. Your design? Well, I did get it in St. Joseph's. Why? My design. My idea. Although, no, the one you're wearing is slightly different from the one I put together during the summer of 2024. Yes, the original biomarker was much more useful. Well, you invented biomarkers? What are you doing in this trading post, then? Sciencing trade. What did you think? That's called capitalism. Right, and look what it led us anyway. Would you be interested in the original biomarker? Like I said, far more useful than the ones we're wearing now. All right, I'm interested. Keep talking. How is it special? Ooh, where should I start? So, beyond monitoring the concentration of THV infectious agents in your blood, the initial biomarker organically enhanced the synthesis of phosphocreatine, providing phosphates to ADP molecules and stimulating the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. English, please. It made people stronger and faster. Okay, now you have my attention. But how come people aren't using this model, then? Let's say there were... minor side effects. Such as? Doesn't matter. What matters is my obnoxious rival, Dr. Katsumi Kobayachi, then head of the GRE, deemed it too dangerous. She locked it up in a safe somewhere inside that building over there. St. Joseph's Hospital? Exactly. I can see you're not that fresh in the city. Wanna know how to open the safe and get my original biomarker? Sure. I found a note on Katsumi's desk. Seems like she encrypted the code of the safe through some sort of riddle. What's the riddle? What well, becomes smaller when you turn it upside down? That's the first digit of the safe. Yes. The second one is an odd number. Take away a letter and it becomes even. What number is it? And the third one? A little girl goes to the store and buys one dozen eggs. As she is going home, all but three eggs break. How many eggs are left unbroken? Now, find the safe in Katsumi's office in St. Joseph's Hospital and use these three digits to open it. You should find my biomarker inside of it. Here's the note with the riddle in case you need more time. <laughs> 